What is going on, folks? Fake Mike here. It's Auditing America. Go like, share, subscribe. Find Auditing America news on PayPal. Find him on Instagram, TikTok. Miramar Police Headquarters here with CPR Audits. Auditing America. We're gonna have a great video here, guys. This is the headquarters. We're gonna pull our public record request. How's it going, brother? Can I have a public records request, please? Uh, the thing is, is she... You can't give me a form? Uh, no, nah, they, they do it upstairs. Oh. Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay, thank you. Jeez, that's crazy. They can only work Monday through Thursday. So this whole town, the public records department is closed. And I said, you can't give me a piece of paper? No, you have to go upstairs. The whole department is closed on Friday. This entire town, the city hall across the street is closed. We were about to audit there. <laughs> but the, the government gets Fridays off because we're forced to pay them regardless. Wow. Um, could you please be kind enough to tell me what your name and your badge number is, please, officer? My name is Detective Bowerbank. And my badge number is 467. What type of investigations do you conduct? General investigations. You guys finding any uh, cold cases? You guys opening any of those up? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. How okay, seriously do you take your oath to the Constitution, sir? Very. That's awesome. Great job. Very good officer. Seems like he's doing... I mean, this is, this is an incredible little oh, museum. Can I get a public records request form, please? You're going to be disappointed. They get Fridays off. How come the city hall is closed on Friday too? Why? Why did? Why is this? Why is this city so special? They get Fridays off. Does, does, that, does that mean they get paid a little bit less? <laughs> no. 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 For real. For for real. So this is the. So, so you don't you don't work forty hours then. So when a government has a monopoly on something, they're able to do whatever you want and force you to do it. However. This is not something afforded to the private sector, free market. You can't, you, mom and pop people can't say, well, we're getting taxpayer money, so we're just gonna shut down on Friday. It doesn't work like that. That doesn't happen to the little people in this country. It also happens to the big people with the corporate bailouts, but unfortunately government is even worse because they're the ones giving them the corporate bailouts. Well, this is pretty frustrating. <clears throat> this is, I mean, it's already difficult enough because people have to work extra jobs because of inflation and high taxes. And then governments not open like banks are, or even, even Chick-fil-A is open more than, than governments. And it's getting increasingly people, uh, difficult for people to reach these resources that they need to do. Taxes keep going up. Uh, and then it's another day that they're going to be closed. So that's, that, that's very upsetting. Look at this. They have, they have a roach. It says roach. No <laughs> way. I, I, roach. I'm so glad you pointed this out. Pardon me. All right. So look at this. All of this. I know you're not going to like this, guys. Oh, they got a hidden roach. Oh, my gosh. That's the worst thing ever. First of all, guys, in order to get alcohol legal, they had to pass a constitutional amendment. They did not do this with the unconstitutional war on drugs. They took it from the United Nations, and then Richard Nixon illegally, unconstitutionally adopted this. We did not get a constitutional yeah. amendment. Keep in mind, folks, George Washington, he grew hemp. Now, we have no reason to believe that he smoked it, because... I, I thought previously he may have, but we actually don't have any evidence. However, we do know for a fact he did grow hemp, and he also was a distiller of whiskey. So he was not about prohibition at all. And unfortunately, the drug war has failed. Uh, luckily, there are certain states that are seeing that, decriminalizing, and a plant. I mean... What's the PPE section? 
zone. Personal protective equipment, I believe. Um, so <clears throat> sanitize your hands. Do not shake hands. Um, it's, it, I'm actually glad that the... PPE zone is like back there? No, PPE zone, it should be, I mean, technically everywhere during COVID. PPE zone. All right, well, that's very disappointing. All right, take care. That's an audit fail. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why that's an audit fail. It's because they're not even open. So that's a fail. I mean, government, it, it's so, like Enrique said, these government work, I believe those government workers, I could be wrong, but those ones over there, they, they're, they're working and all these other businesses have to be open. Uh, but no, the government gets a day off on our tax time, on our socialist welfare. And that's why Mr. America does what he does. Sometimes it might not be a pass, it might not be a fail, but we're going to give it to you guys raw and uncut anyways, because the truth is the truth. And you can't even be accessible or hold government accountable or transparent if they're not even there to answer you guys go to cpr audit cpr audit cpr audit cpr audits give them a like share subscribe what do you also think about, what do you think about uh the service over here today the guy just wanted us to be done talking and just wanted us out <laughs> simple as that he didn't want to talk he didn't want to answer questions he just i don't know yeah he wanted didn't want to do any he didn't want to look at the camera service. for sure all right, guys, we'll wrap this up. Find Auditing America, PayPal, Auditing America, okay. on Gmail, Cash App, TikTok, Instagram, fakemikerealnews.com. We out, players.